Hey guys, it's Dave with the Scarred Thumb Podcast here. Just put in a little clip to make up for a lack of podcast on Sunday. This I wanted to cover this as an update on Hell Divers. PlayStation hasn't uh, had a good week, and I don't think they're going to have a good month, to be honest. Because, and really, it's only their fault. If you remember this announcement from Monday of last week, right now it's Monday of uh, then the week after that, the thirteenth. They came up with this saying that after a weekend of relentless review bombing on Helldivers, tons of controversy over the requirement to make players sign up for the PlayStation Network, the account linking, they backed off saying, we wouldn't require it. We're uh, still learning what's best for PC players and feedback has seemed invaluable. Thanks again for supporting Helldivers. So they did this. This happened last Monday. And the PlayStation fanboys we're very unhappy. Look at this beautiful AI art. PC doesn't deserve PlayStation exclusive games. Yes, uh, there we go. They're crying. And the Zuby Tech to all, notice he closed the reply to all PlayStation 6s who follow me. Please see this. Helldivers 2 proves PlayStation should never go day and date with PC, which means, I guess, releasing them at the same time. This is extremely clear. Yep. Totally great idea, Zuby Tech. Uh, Helldivers wasn't successful because it was uh, released on the PC at the same time. Totally didn't have anything to do with their success. Would have been great on PlayStation. People would just be like waiting. Oh, please, can I get Helldivers? Yeah, that's moronic. Absolutely moronic. The only reason Helldivers succeeded. I guarantee you Helldivers would have flopped. Or it like been okay on the PlayStation 5. But really, it is because of the PC simultaneous release. I think PC was what really was driving the hype and the success of Helldivers. It would have done all right, but nowhere near the success it's having right now without that PC release. It's insane to think this. And then, of course, oh, yeah, I don't need to link a PlayStation account. Take that, Sony. And as I'm licking the boot here, of course, you have to do sign up for a lot of different stuff uh pc players but no one likes that and it's one less without playstation <laughs> i don't get even if you're a playstation fan like why why would you get upset on this the console wars are truly truly brain dead the arena of a brain dead of niche gamers sharing a funny meme no you can't give up they'll think they've won and then sony bowing to PC chuds. God bless. But uh, the real victims, the real victims of all this was, of course, the community managers like Catherine Baskin, or the Baskinator, as she's called. Baskinator. Can people stop telling me to kill myself now? Oh, poor Catherine. Oh. Community manager. Such a hard job. Oh, uh, no, and then Spitz. Well, I mean, she, way to, way, Catherine, way to stand up for your guy Spitz, who apparently got fired over this. And Spitz is really another victim. I appreciate the support. Who told people to change the review and uh, request a refund, which ended up being a very good strategy, but I think he's trying to retcon history uh, to make himself out to be some sort of hero in this. Yeah, it was all 5D chess. Spitz losing his roles and being fired from this job, which uh, probably doesn't pay that much. So, not a huge loss. And Catherine, now uh, tweets are still protected. Uh, doing a great job, Catherine, to uh, be the face of the community as a community manager. But you know, things weren't so great for everybody. Uh, PlayStation might have pulled a fast one on us. This is pirate software. Uh, saying the Helldivers community was tricked by Sony. So Sony took back the account linking, but one of the big things about the whole account linking, one of the reasons everyone was mad, was because uh, countries were going to... There was plenty of countries, 177 countries, that could not make a PSN account, couldn't like legally make one there, because it's not available, which means... Hell, unless you like wanted to get like a VPN and do some sort of workaround, you could not play Helldivers now. You bought the game, you're able to play the game, have fun with the game, but all of a sudden, 
it was banned. And it, the, unfortunately, it seems that it is still banned right now. There's a Palstead saying that they're working with uh, PlayStation Valve to get it reversed. But uh, I think still, even currently, it's still banned in 177 countries. And in fact, it's uh, banned in the Baltics. And uh, what's even worse for Sony is they continue to make bad decisions. Ghost of Tsushima, director's cut for PC, is uh, they're now getting auto refunds because they cannot legally sign up for the PSN. Now, Ghost of Tsushima is mostly a single-player game, but it does have a small multiplayer element uh, to it. So you could just you know play it and enjoy it in single-player. But it looks like right now... Uh, for the countries that aren't able to make PSNs, sales are being restricted in these countries and they're getting automatically refunded on their pre-orders uh, if they are from those certain countries. So Sony reversed it. Well, they allowed these people to get uh, pre-orders, but now they're going to Green Man Gaming and Steam. And it looks like it's Sony that's, that is requesting them to do this and just giving them their money back. They don't want to deal with it anymore. So if you want to enjoy Ghost of Tsushima and you're from these uh, 177 countries, well, uh, you're screwed. And now the Baltics have been added, too. So <laughs> a ton of countries uh, banned from owning this game because Sony, for whatever reason, wants you to sign up for a PSN account to be able to play what, what is effectively a single-player game. So Sony uh, not making great decisions uh, at the moment. I don't know why they're so hard on to make, uh, you know, make people sign up for PSN. I don't know if this is like some sort of uh, earnings thing or what, but it is, <laughs> I cannot see this being a good long-term decision. I think... PC has a huge upside for consoles uh, to, you know, reach more players, make bigger games, especially, you know, with the budgets they have right now. But, you know, if you're going to ban these countries, which, you know, the, a lot of these aren't huge. They're not going to be like gigantic, you know, drivers. They're not going to make and break a game. But still, the more, the better. And gosh, I think... It's crazy. This is crazy. Uh, Hell Divers, I mean, there's at least a multiplayer game. It's live service. Ghost of Tsushima has some multiplayer elements in it, but the crux of the game isn't <laughs> isn't multiplayer. What are they thinking? Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Uh, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you later.